my role with Murray School Bank involves dealing with the day-to-day -day admin tasks, answering the phone and email inquiries, and doing the social media, organising days out for families and activities through No Worries and Murray. And I also deal with the summer and winter referral process as well, and many more things. Um, I've also just recently completed a course as an apprentice in business administration, um, and are looking at taking on a new one at a higher level. If you don't know, Murray School Bank are a charity based in Kerelke and we offer support to families who are based in Murray. Um, we provide school uniform packs and warm winter clothing items for children of families experiencing financial difficulty. Um, this year we supported 349 families during the summer. The skills I've learned from being in this job um, is definitely being able to speak to people over the phone um, much better than I used to be able to. Um, I've also learned the more about the referral process um, and how it works and from a personal view I feel I've gained a lot more confidence. Um, I've also learned much more about poverty and poverty specifically in Murray um, more than what I would know before I started working here and I've also gained a much more in-depth understanding of it realising that there are much more different as aspects of poverty so local. So going forward, I'm taking on um, No Worries and Money and I'm doing a project between now and October for it. Um, I've started another course and are continuing with the administration for Murray School Bank and the referral process too. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm 25 years old and I've been working at the Murray School Bank since May of 2021. My job title at the Murray School Bank is Project Assistant and my role mainly involves me driving around collecting the community donations dropped off at our collection points located at different points around the county. I'm also responsible for taking our donation bins and dropping them off at any new suppliers that we have. When I'm not collecting donations or picking up parcels for the team, I'm assisting the team back at our office with general duties such as sorting through our stockpile of received donations, filling out spreadsheets or helping with the occasional cleaning duties on site. Despite only having been in the organization for a few months, I have felt very welcomed and appreciated since I first arrived. And I take personal pride in knowing that my actions are helping to alleviate some of the burdens the previous team members have been facing, thus allowing them to concentrate their efforts on the priority jobs that they need to carry out. During the short time that I've been working here, I've had my eyes open to the severity of just how poverty-stricken all areas of the UK are at this current time, not just Murray. Originally, I only imagined a few counties being affected, but every county in the UK is currently experiencing some significant issues regarding poverty. The fact that Scotland itself has estimates showing 260,000 children being affected is unfathomable to me. However, I am pleased that charities such as the Murray School Bank exist to offer support and to help these families in need, and that fu further fuels my motivation and drives me to do what I can to the best of my abilities, to ensure that I am effectively contributing to the team and that we as a whole are helping out those in need. Thanks to the role that I'm carrying out, I've been able to further develop my social skills and act with further confidence when speaking to new people, specifically those relating to business matters. One personal achievement that I'm proud of is that I'm now able to more confidently use a reception phone, something that I would have never have had the confidence to attempt previously. Additionally, I have grown more confident with my driving capabilities, given that I've been on the road more regularly, driving to new locations to meet with our new correspondents which in turn means I now have more experience driving around the local area. I feel this will personally go a long way to helping me leave my comfort zone and will eventually take up new driving locations further afield. My role within Revolution for Good is the Digital Marketing Apprentice. This involves doing the social media for the business, the day-to-day -day admin tasks, the accounts and the referral service for either coaching or counselling. Revolution for Good is growing and we are accomplishing many things. We offer training to different businesses and provide coaching or counselling to the families who need it. We are also working with our coaches on delivering Radar, which helps male perpetrators of domestic abuse. By working with Revolution for Good, I have gained a greater understanding of how poverty works and what it is. It isn't just in the obvious form of being homeless that everyone immediately thinks of, but rather that there are many forms and anybody could be suffering, and the last year with COVID-19 has shown for it. Being employed in the third sector definitely is different from any other job I have had, but it has helped me gain so much more self-confidence to speak up for what I believe in. It has also given me the skill of being able to talk more appropriately and sensitively to the public than my jobs in the retail industry ever have. 
One good thing about working for Revolution for Good is that they are a living wage employer within the third sector. For somebody of my age and job role as an apprentice, this affects me massively as without it, I would only be getting paid £4.15 an hour. The drastic difference in pay means I can comfortably pay for all my bills and food without having to live in constant worry. What is next? Going forward, I will be doing a lot more work for the coaches and counselling involving a coordinating role and I will be continuing to finish my college work for my apprenticeship by 2022. Over the summer, Murray School Bank have supported 349 children in Murray by providing school uniform, school bags and shoes, which takes us to a total of having supported 2,459 children since we started in 2017. While delivering the packs to the families we, um, we support, we also ask them a series of questions in surrounding digital inclusivity, including did you feel you had enough support throughout the pandemic digitally to support our digital inclusivity research? We have also provided days out for 100 families during the summer holidays to places like Landmark, Cadona's and the Highland Wildlife Park so the families can enjoy a day out. Um, and our beach hut has also been in use an awful lot over the summer where families are able to go and enjoy the beach with their children. And we've also been in the process of planning and building our community garden here in Kurgalagi too, which is nearly finished. Since October 2020, we have done a lot. We have helped 19 people through counselling and the number of counselling hours that we have achieved is 87. We have also helped 11 people through coaching and 20 young people through coaching. As well as our coaching and counselling services, we also offer training. Since the 28th of August, we have been running a PTA in counselling for children and young people, which has nine candidates. And we will also be starting our trauma-informed training for NHS Grampians in October.